I think my doodles just reflect how much of a love for life I want to have and I'm trying to have every day. I wake up some days and I don't know where it's going, but I know I'm gonna live it to the fullest. You don't make mistakes, you make happy accidents in the words of Bob Ross. I've been working in admissions for so long and a lot of my job is to be on the phone with people and so I draw while I'm talking on the phone with people so I do these little freeform doodly things. Each one is associated with a student and with their story and I couldn't get rid of them they just felt too personal to throw away. It's sort of funny the longer like this was clearly a longer phone conversation than that one and probably a little more intense. This one I took so long that I had time to do two colors. I just love the like spaces for creativity in the midst of an administrative day. Sometimes I go on like Instagram and I like just scroll through and I find random photos I like and I just like draw it. Like that's why I have this dog photo. It's a very cute dog. Because it was line weights. I appreciate the Thank line you. weights. I usually doodle like if I'm in class for like a really long time and I'm just running out of gas. It's something like I just started, I want to say like this semester, but I think it's working. Like I think it's like, it's like keeping me focused. I am in Sergeant for Behavior and Health with like anatomy and physiology classes or bio-related things. I found doodling a very helpful way to take notes. Our bodies are so complex and throughout the day there's so many things going on that we don't even think about. So to kind of draw it out and gain better understanding of it to me is a really cool thing. Every time I doodle, I try to look back to what I did and see kind of like where my mind was at the moment. I think like this was just, uh, I was just sitting on a bench and across there was this nun listening music with this set of headphones, like purple headphones. And I was thinking about what could be going through her mind. Imagining all the creative ideas that someone can have and how we judge someone without even knowing them. The process of like drawing things out is just so satisfying and like when you're in the process of making something and then you, and you see the pieces just kind of come together, it makes you just kind of feel like even if things don't make any sense, there's a way to connect it. I've been kind of trying to almost art journal, like put on some music and I'll like draw whatever comes to me. I do a lot of drawing like feminine, people. I don't know, to me, drawing faces over and over again is very like calming and therapeutic, like a form of meditation or something. I'm a very visual person, and so when I see lines, they just kind of naturally start to form a pattern. My brain can't help but see the pattern. And so when I, when I do that for long enough, I start seeing geometric shapes in them, and then, you know, once you see them, you can't help but draw them. We're people who are afraid, I think. People are afraid of making mistakes. But when you're doodling, who cares if you make a mistake? Because it's a doodle and you just move on with your life. Like, oh, I don't like the way this cube looks. Well, too bad, it doesn't matter. Doodling is an activity that always invites you. No matter what you end up putting on your page, it's gonna be a reflection of who you are in some capacity.